Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat podcast. My name is Amir. Thank you for listening to the podcast on Apple and Spotify. And also thank you for watching the videos on YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, I am on my path to 2,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. So Austin Rivers was recently on the Pat McAfee show. And he had some comments regarding um, Pat Riley's press conference that he had on Monday. And he was talking about just the Miami Heat's organization in general. And basically was saying, hey, a lot of people should want to play in Miami. It's a beautiful city. There's a lot of beautiful women. There's no income tax. The weather is amazing. He basically said that the Miami Heat is a world-class organization, not just in the NBA, but across all sports. He also gave praise to Pat Riley, the godfather. He said he loves um, Riley's comments, by the way. He loves that he's challenging his team and his players to be available. He also didn't really agree with Pat Riley's sentiment about Jimmy Butler shutting up, essentially, and be quiet um, regarding his thought process on how the Miami Heat would have beaten the Celtics or the Knicks if he was healthy and if he was in the playoffs. He said, Jimmy talks his shit. He deserves it. He's the one who's kept that franchise afloat, which is true. I mean, we had to go through those dark years of where we overpaid Dion Waiters and James Johnson and Tyler Johnson and um, giving the max to Whiteside. And so we were able to get um, off the white side contract, getting Jimmy Butler um, to the Miami Heat in 2019. And, you know, the rest has been history. We haven't won a championship, which is unfortunate. And, you know, that's the ultimate goal of the franchise. Pat Riley said that, you know, the team is upset, including Jimmy Butler, that they have not won a championship yet. The ultimate goal is to win a championship. And that's what Jimmy Butler wants to do. And so Austin Rivers also basically was saying, hey, like, he didn't say this directly, but he's like, hey, you need to extend Jimmy Butler, but you also need to put talent around him. You need to bring some more talent. So does that mean the Miami Heat go after that whale? I mean, Pat Riley said there's only like three players. He didn't um, mention who they were that the Heat can go all in for, essentially, because he doesn't want to tear apart this team, meaning he, he probably doesn't want to trade Tyler, um, Hawkes, and Jovic and all the picks for someone unless it is one of these three players. Was Kevin Durant in that one of three? I don't think so personally because Kevin Durant is 35, even though he's crushing it, still averaging 27 points per game. Um, still really effective, even at age 35. He's one of the best scorers in NBA history. And not sure if he's included, but either way, saying add some talent, kind of like the Nuggets. Right now, they're not the best example right now because they're down 2-0 against the um, merging Timberwolves, but you need functional size and talent. Players like an Aaron Gordon, a player like Michael Porter Jr. or KCP. Like you need to add talented defensive players. We need size on this team. We need some athleticism. I think that's essentially what he means is just we need to upgrade this roster, whether it's through a star or through better rotational role players. So maybe Austin Rivers is trying to plead his case and you know he's probably thinking i am talented can i join the miami heat i know last off season uh during the dame rumors he mentioned um wanting to join the miami heat so i'm not surprised that he's giving us some praise some kudos as having the best organization one of the best executives and having one of the best players in the nba so what are your thoughts on austin rivers comments about the miami heat and Pat Riley's comments and how the Miami Heat need more talent. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you.